Video tutorial number two, negative space. If you remember in the last video, we discussed technique, how to make objects look solid, round, and real. In this video, we are going to think a little bit more abstractly, and I am going to show you what to think about and focus on so that you can be in control of guiding your viewer how to see, feel, and experience whatever it is you're expressing with your art. And the first thing that we do for that is think about negative space. Negative space is the space that exists between objects as well as the space that exists between the objects and the edge of your paper or the edge of your canvas. Negative space is and should be just as important as the objects themselves. If you remember in the last video, we also discussed how every single piece of paper that you draw on as well as every canvas that you paint on is flat. So if you keep that idea in the back of your mind, then every shape that you put down and every line that exists because of every shape and every space that exists between every line and every shape is what will lead your viewer around your flat surface. Also, it's important to note that in this hemisphere, we read left to right. So just about every piece of art that you are going to look at, you are going to enter it, especially if it's horizontal, but also even if it's vertical, you're going to enter it from the left-hand side and meander around your art based on the shapes, lines, shadows, color, paint application that you have put down. All right, I'm going to show you now an example of a drawing where negative space is so important and how it makes just an ordinary drawing that uses reflected light and makes objects look round make the entire drawing look really interesting. Here we have two pairs, two objects, plus the shadows, which are objects in and of themselves. And there is a groove taken out between the pair and its shadow, making this sexy little curve that brings the viewer right in. If you didn't have that, there would be a barrier and it wouldn't be the same entrance into this beautiful little drawing. In the drawing, there's negative space. Here you have a space between the stem, the pear, and the shadow that creates an object, a shape that looks just like a pear. So isn't that interesting? And then you have a square, a curve, a square, and a curve, creating a pattern, which is something that the viewer, in their subconscious, they don't even realize um, how they're drawn to something like that. Uh, Picasso, it, in his art, was very famous for juxtaposing angled shapes next to round shapes. So that's a successful tool that has been used. So it's so nice to have it here again in a drawing. So you're brought into this drawing, you're brought around by all these lines and shapes, and you're brought back again. So that is what makes a drawing or a painting so interesting.